We have two things to celebrate tonight. 30 years ago, Patricia and I, with some trepidation, I will admit, opened one small store, Stewart's Quality Home Goods. Now, shortly after we opened that little store, the most precious gift of our lives came along, a little baby girl. And that little girl grew into an accomplished and talented young lady who today is not only my beautiful daughter, but also my brilliant head of marketing. All of which brings me to Hi. the second, but not the second most <laughs> reason for our celebrations tonight. The engagement of my irreplaceable daughter, Vanessa, to Stephen. For the last four years, Stephen has worked tirelessly with us to realize our dream of expanding the business. I suppose no father believes there is any man in the world who is worthy of his daughter. But I say with all my heart, I can't think of anyone I would rather welcome into our family than Stephen Rocker. To Stephen and Vanessa, the continuation of the Stewart dynasty. Stephen, Stephen and Stephen Vanessa. Vanessa. Stephen and Vanessa. Delivery for the Stewart dynasty. Mm. <laughs> I designed it myself. You did? Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh. <laughs> oh. It's so you. I wanted you to feel like a Bond girl on your honeymoon. Oh. As your maid of honor. Do I actually qualify as a maid? As a maiden? No. Then again, you are wearing white, which is incredibly accurate. <laughs> As your maid of honor, yeah. I do feel it is my duty to remind you that you don't have to go through with this. Your point? Vanessa, when you're marrying a man, you're supposed to love him truly, madly, and very deeply. There you are. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what a party, huh? I can hardly wait for the karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, and Vanessa, yeah, pow. <laughs> oh, hi, I almost forgot. Billy Babcock from Smith Party is a five handicap, and his wife is 11. They want to play on Sunday. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. What's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's funny. But golf with a broker. I'm happy. Darling, first thing in the morning, we have to decide what to do about the caterers. And we've got to get you in for a final fitting. Uh, do 
And the company going public in my wedding, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Hey, at least you get to go to Venice. That is so cool, I'm so jealous. Venice isn't gonna work out this year. I need you here for the presentation to the investors. Well, yeah, but if I don't go to Venice, we won't have stock for the holidays. Someone else can go. Well, I always do the buying trip to Venice. That's a luxury you may have to sacrifice. Luxury? Wait a minute, these are the items that make our store unique. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. you know what? I'm not asking for the keys to the car here. Vanessa. No, and while we're at it, I don't like the direction that you're taking the company. Have you forgotten what we stand for? I don't need anyone reminding me what Stewart stands for. I built this company from the ground up for you. I need you here. Now, what's it going to be? Wait a minute. <laughs> Scooty, uh, stop. No. Perché Vaporetto? No, stop. Scusi? Uh, Vaporetto. Perché? Stop. Stop. No? Mm, mi dispiace, signor. No? no? That's a different line. What? We stop ahead at the next platform. San Samuel. Next stop. Oh. Thanks. First time here? Um, no, I, I come here for business. That's lucky. Whenever I'm burned out, I always try and get a few days here. What do you do? I'm a buyer, first door. Sorry, am I being nosy? Mm. Occupational hazard. I'm a reporter. Bill. Bill Fitzgerald. Vanessa. Hi. How long are you here? A few days. Will you have time to see the city? No, I'm going to be working the entire time. Maybe we could have dinner one night. I I'm really very busy. <laughs> Too busy for dinner? Well, yeah, uh, my schedule's unpredictable, you know? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so is mine. I like unpredictability. Keeps things from getting dull and predictable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. Oh, this is my stop. It's nice meeting you. You want me to go? I can tell. I'm... No, it's just that I'm, I'm traveling alone, and actually, I, I prefer it that way. Don't you think that's the best part of traveling alone, is meeting new people? Look, I, I'm jet lagged, and I, I don't like to get to my hotel. OK, I can take a hint. Although it's actually more of a bold statement that you'd like me to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.
Hello? I know what you're thinking. Is that a knowing man again? Not, no, not exactly. But close. I'm sorry for being obnoxious yesterday. The truth is, I'm only here for a few days. I didn't want to be alone. And I always say the wrong thing. Apology accepted. May I join you? OK. So? Are you getting a lot of work done? Yes, actually, I am. Is this something for your store? Mm-hmm. May I see? Yes. <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. Especially this. Mm. What made you buy it? Well, I always like to have one item that's out of the ordinary. You know, give people the range of the expected, but then the exception. They have a way of being very endearing, the unique items. How's that? Maybe we feel they're being themselves. Yeah, they're the underdogs. We pull for them because it's a tough job to be yourself. Is it tough for you to be yourself? No. It's not tough for me. Though I suspect it's tough on others to put up with. <laughs> so what are you doing for dinner? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. I was going to go to a quick little restaurant right near here. Will you join me? I like well-made, well-designed objects. They're beauty. And I love what it means to our customers. Like last year I was here and I got these vases, beautiful vases. They had these, these great clean lines and these wonderful pastel stripes and these circles that just seem to float. Ah, such personality. Whenever I look at them, I'm comforted. Is that what you're looking for? Comfort? I want to give my customers something that when they get home, no matter what kind of day they've had, they can look at something beautiful and be comforted. Yeah, yeah. Like my friend Mimi, she's got this piece of Steuben glass. Her mother gave her. Now, it's not her style, she'd never buy it. But there it is, sitting on her piano, a symbol of her mother. A connection. You love what you do. Yeah. But when it comes to finances and competitive pricing... Not for you. Not for me. Good thing you know where you're going, because I'm completely turned around here. What about giving up a job? Doing something else? Oh, well, it's my family's business. It's kind of like being in the mob, you know, once you're a member. You seem far too creative to be stuck in an office. Yeah. I did study art in college. That's actually my real love. Art is such a primal thing. I remember when my father died. My mother started to paint. If it hadn't been for that, I don't know what would have happened to her. It saved her life. She's still painting? She struggled for years. Now she actually makes a living out of it. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Sacrifice. Life is too short to settle. What about you? What kind of reporting do you do? Foreign conflicts. I just got back from Kosovo. Uh -huh. Three days off, and then back I go. I'd be scared to death. I can barely watch the evening news. I am scared to death. Which doesn't mean I don't love it. I do. Uh -huh. Like I said, good thing you know where you're going. That would be a good thing. You do know where you're going. Maybe. Maybe not. <sighs> My instinct says right. What do you think, right or left? You're the one who's been to the restaurant, not me. It doesn't mean you can't have an opinion. Yeah. You do seem to have opinions. Oh, what does that mean? Some of my best friends are stubborn and willful. Is that a compliment? Of a sort. Well, Missy, we can't stand here all day. Which way, right or left? Left. Left, then. I recognize that gondolier. Didn't we cross this square before? I thought you were so sure of yourself. Don't you trust your instincts? Oh, it's not my instincts I'm concerned about. And you doubted me. I did. Giorgio. Hello, hello. Come on, okay. Nice to see you again. Hello, how's it going? All right. Really? Hello. 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 Do you? Hello. You don't mind if I, uh... Hello. 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 <laughs> mm. Delicious. You're eating all my food. This is Italy. It's full of food. You don't take no for an answer, do you? 
an occupational hazard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel sorry for people who get in your way. I'm very charming to everyone I bulldoze. What's the biggest no you didn't take for an answer? The biggest no? Mm -hmm. That would have been Somalia, <laughs> 1991. What was going on there? Clan wars. I was there with Francis, my cameraman. Unfortunately, one of the local warlords had it in for journalists. Some of his henchmen came in the middle of the night, dragged us out of bed, and threw us in jail. What for? Espionage. Not that he needed a reason to shoot you. While we were in prison, we heard how extensive the killings were. Entire villages were being wiped out. So what happened? A few days later, they let us go. Gave us an escort to the border. We headed north. Then, when our escort was gone, we swung around and went back in. We were the first ones to find the mass graves. Mm. I never could have gone back. You don't know what you do. I didn't know how not to go back. I only knew that if I didn't, more people were going to die. It must be really hard for the people that are close to you knowing what could happen to you. Hmm? I'm worried most about my little girl. I chose this job before I was a dad. You have a little girl? Helena. She's beautiful. How long have you been married? My wife died eight years ago. Helena stays with my mother while I'm working. I try to see her as much as I can. How about you? That's a very conspicuous looking diamond ring on your finger. Yes, well, <clears throat> I'm engaged. Who's the lucky guy? His name is Stephen. He's the chief financial officer for our store. Is he the guy for you? Well, I believe he is. Yes. And he must be. Well, thank you for dinner. I had a lovely time, actually. You're not going to turn in now. It's dusk. It's magic hour. Oh, no, I, I have a huge, huge day tomorrow. Come on, you can't waste a night in Venice just sleeping. Well, I, I have to get up at the crack of dawn. Oh, come on. The city's waiting for you. Let's walk to Zatera. Or take the water taxi to San Giorgio. Have you ever seen the sunrise in Piazza San Marco? Oh, no. I, I have to be at the Finnici Glass Factory in Murano first thing in the morning. I can't tempt you. You can. But I'm still going straight to bed. I'd love to see a glass factory. I've always been interested in glowing glass. May I join you? I have to look at a lot of items, negotiate prices. You wouldn't be effective. I'm afraid not. So, thanks for dinner. I'll... Bye. Buona sera. Buona sera. We're starting another one. Come with me. Oh. Sounds like something I'd like to see. Uh, Vanessa Stewart, and this is Bill. Uh... Fitzgerald. Yes, he's a reporter. He wanted a tour of the factory. Ah. A friend of mine's an editor with National Geographic, so I thought I'd turn my holiday into an article. But you two know one another? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Un momento. Mm. I always wanted to see a glass factory ever since I was a little boy. You're following me. Do you like it? 
You know, Italy's the only place where I can be myself, and I prefer not to be stalked. Thank you very much. You can't be yourself at home? No. But yes. I mean, it's not that I can't. You don't? Well, it's just, I have roles to play, and I can't let people down. By being yourself? So you're slightly phony, Vanessa Stewart, at home. Vanessa would spin. No, I am not phony. No, it's just me. Performing a role? Will you stop answering for me? Sorry. You are making this much worse than it is. I do not have a problem. There is no problem. You don't have one person you can be yourself with. One? Mm -hmm. I hope it's your fiancé. wear gloves because he's got to feel the curves. Hmm? He's got great touch. Yeah. He's making an hourglass. Constantly changes. That's what I love about glasswork. It just, it just evolves. Vanessa. This is a present from my maestro. Oh, do you like it? See, si, very much. Look at that. It's perfect. <laughs>